Welcome back everybody. I want to show you something a little bit different in this video. I'm going to give you an inside look, literally, at my diecast collection. Now when I started collecting over 30 years ago, I was living in an old house. It was damp and dusty. And so, uh, it was a small place and, well, my landlord controlled the heat, so I had no choice of how warm I could keep my place. So as my collection grew, well, I had a shelf unit that had a bunch of cars on it. And then I started stacking stuff in front of the shelf unit and I wasn't able to dust the cars like I should have been doing. So anyways, uh, I was collecting Borago in 124 scale. They were readily available in stores and hobby shops. And I thought they were very nice cars, very nice die cast. They're all made in Italy. And they weren't terribly expensive, and considering they came from Italy, you'd think they would be more expensive, but they were res relatively uh, inexpensive compared to, say, model kits or other die cast. Well, they're all held together with screws. I live near the airport, so that's why you hear a plane going overhead. There's actually a flying school there as well, so. So as you can see, it's uh, held together with screws. And as you can see, it's got a separate engine, it's chrome, transmission, driveline, exhaust. It's got the black plastic chassis. It's got decent enough looking suspension detail on it. It's got rubber tires, nice wheels, opening features, nice enough interior details. Let me try and focus here. There we go. And then, of course, you got the opening hood. There's the chrome engine. And that's typically what Barago did back then. All the engines were done up in chrome. And nice chrome pieces on it. So, anyways, uh, these ones were on the shelf and they were getting pretty dusty and it would get damp and Damp and dust uh, kind of make quite a mess on your models, especially if you leave it. And then, well, I had moved out of the place into another place, and well, my Jada toy collection started taking over, and my new place, the one before this one, I didn't have a lot of room either, but the newer stuff uh, I was putting out for display, and this stuff just stayed in the box. Well, I decided I should probably clean these up <clears throat> because they're actually very nice models. So I've taken these two apart already and I've cleaned them up, put them all back together. And now they look just like they did when they were brand new. Well, here's a Lamborghini Countach. And I want to show you the construction techniques that they used and it was very, very nice, very clever, very well done. So you got a chassis piece with the bottom portion of the suspension details. Nice fine details. See, it's got pins sticking up there because the front suspension, you got the little pins in the whole slot. So you slide it down over top. And then in the interior piece, has the top of the suspension piece, and that would lock the front wheels in. Well, the interior piece, again, it was very well done. Nice little mold, and then they would use the one-piece chrome 
plastic to represent you know the pedals brake handles all the other knobs and switches now of course they're not all chrome but it does a very nice job of representing the different interior features on it and then you got the separate piece for the engine now this is in two pieces the engine block transmission is one piece and then well it has the rear suspension on it too and then the top portion has the intake and the exhaust and the piece I'm holding there and then they will add this piece onto it for the head detail and of course it all gets inserted into the chassis and you see the gear shift knob there well actually there's a slot in there so it's really cool how put it in the gear shift comes out through so that's pretty cool and of course you got the seats they just snap in and then there's a dashboard that goes on top and of course you hook that up to the steering okay so I'll show you the chassis here or the body sorry and there you go made in Italy so that's pretty cool very nice construction now you see all the vent openings there well there's another piece that would go in underneath the body represent the vent and then when you open the hood or the engine cover then you'd have the other portions of the engine on top so pretty cool construction techniques Of course, you got the interior door panels. And everything opens up very nicely on these. Of course, made in Italy, so the quality is, is good. And of course, two-piece unit. Now, this is kind of big, but once you put it in, then all you see are the headlights. So I thought this was a pretty cool uh, thing where you can just take them apart. And now dust gets everywhere, even in an enclosed vehicle. And it's almost impossible to get everything clean. So this is a great way to just take it apart just with some uh, warm water, some dish soap, a soft toothbrush. You can scrub all that dirt away. And then you end up with a beautiful shiny paint, just like uh, it originally had. Well, here's my Ferrari GTO. And another beautiful Virago Man Italy die cast. I've taken this apart and cleaned it already. Started putting it back together. Unfortunately, the chassis and the interior piece I couldn't take apart because you see where the wheels get popped onto the axles. Well, you can't pull the gray portion off. So I was able to clean it. It wasn't terribly dirty, but I managed to clean everything and and blow out all the water. Now you can use compressed air in a can that you use for electronic equipment like cleaning keyboards and stuff, but well, I just used a good old straw and blew out as much water as I could and sopped it up with q-tips and whatnot and then you just let it dry and now everything's clean and clean and shiny and ready to get put back together so I just thought I'd show you uh, another side of my collection and what you can do to make them look brand new again so thank you very much for watching if you like what you see, please subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.